My father started a company, Hallmark Cards, uh, which was in the early days called Hall Brothers. And uh, they made initially post, they distributed postcards, then they made postcards, then they became a greeting card company in the, in the mid-teens. Let's talk about the genesis of your father's company, the Hall Brothers. Uh, when was it formed? What was its purpose? Well, it was, uh, we count the beginning date as the date that my father moved from Nebraska to Kansas City, and his intention was to distribute postcards. They called it job postcards. They would buy postcards from manufacturers and then sell them to uh, drug stores primarily in this region. And that was the business in the early days. He uh, brought some cards to Kansas City. He lived in the YMCA and uh, jobbed these cards around this part of the country. That was 1910, and he was 18. And uh, his brother joined, his oldest brother, Raleigh, joined him about a year later. And the other brother, Bill, joined him I think in 1921, about 11 years later, and they called the company then All Brothers. Was it so? It just started out as a regional uh, company, correct? Right. And then, um, when did it start to expand beyond the Kansas City region? Well, gradually, <laughs> uh, but it. Uh, oh, by the time it was into the 20s, they had a. They had a sales force that tried to reach the nation, didn't do that very well, but uh, they, uh, they grew pretty rapidly in those days. Uh, in those beginning days, what was the state of the greeting card company, or the, I'm sorry, what was the state of the greeting card industry at that time? Well, it was an established industry. Uh, uh, Dad really decided to get into greeting cards instead of postcards because although postcards had been a means of communication, they, he thought they were getting uh, dirty in content and uh, would not serve the purpose of social communication. So he started buying greeting cards and then shortly started making greeting cards. And uh, that was in about 1915 or so. And then we started manufacturing cards and creating cards. What do you mean dirty in context? Explain that. Well, foul language and what was then nude looking women, which were today would be considered completely clothed, of course. But um, it was not aiming in the right direction as an industry, and I think it's proved to be right. So with the idea that uh, if you if the company began to make their own cards, you'd be able to control the content uh, of the greeting. Well, we th I think that presumed that greeting cards would be a better means of communication than postcards, just basically, and and uh, we could have a we could have our control of content there. Let's talk about your ma your father's management style. Describe that for us, if you could. Well, uh, my father started the company, and it was always kind of a personal thing to him. And uh, he had very strong ideas and ideals, and um, so it was kind of a singular management style. He didn't, uh, he liked to get people's opinions, but he, uh, he didn't always listen to them. He had strong ideas of his own. And um, so it was a very strong management style without a lot of participative management and uh, it was great for growing a company in the early years and especially with his ideals about product, about television and other things. It, it was the right style for that time. Besides um, the idea of just selling cards, what was his vision? What was his long-term vision? What kind of standards um, did he have on what was going out of the company? Well, he was, he was a man that absolutely demanded excellence, uh, certainly in product. It had, he would send whole lines of greeting cards back and have them redesigned, and he used to see every card made. Um, 
demanded quality in, in everything we went about, and uh, it kind of set the key for for our ideal sense. But uh, he was excellence was very important to him, and uh, that remains with the company today.